Just got back from top five worst dates of my life and yeah, I should have seen it coming. First red flag, he asked me I wanted to go to Olive Garden. So taking you out to Olive Garden on a date is a red flag. You musty motherfucker! I quickly curved that and suggested a place that wasn't Olive Garden. So you above Olive Garden? That's what that's telling me? You above Olive Garden! So we go to a food hall that I suggest. I pick a different food stall than he picks and he walks away when I stop to order my food. So basically I have to pay for my own food. Your musty ass overread my choice? So you gonna pay for your choice? That's fair. What are we, 12? Like, I mean, I didn't ask myself on this date, right? You asked me out. And I would've paid. But your musty ass wanted to run the show, showstopper. At this point, I'm like, there's no salvaging this at all. Like, you're not serious, you're not my type. Since you can't manipulate, now I'm not your type. We're probably talking for an hour and a half, almost two hours. I'm like feeling bad about it. I'm like, okay, maybe give him a second chance. Again, it's slim pickings out here. Like reconsidering going on a second date with him at the end of, at the end of this. There's never slim pickings if your behavior is just decent to a man. And you're fine enough. He gets on the subject of like dating apps and um, he opens up his Hinge app. And I'm like, yeah, I go, I, there's a lot of great options on top picks. So I'm like, see, she's cute. I think you know, it's like the end of the story. He's like, oh yeah, she is. Hopefully you got your happy ending, bro. But not with her musty ass. If you made it this far in the video, you probably enjoyed yourself. So, so why not just subscribe, join the Max Squad, and come on to check out these other videos. Until next time.